Hey people, it's Kakwa here and welcome to another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to reset your HomePod mini. There are three different methods to carry this out. The first one is going to use the Home app on your iPhone or your iPad. With the second method, we're going to use your Mac or your PC. And the third one, you don't need any of that. You can actually reset your HomePod without your phone or your MacBook. So, let me show you how to do this. Okay, so you might ask, why would you want to factory reset your HomePod? Let's say, for instance, you want to gift your HomePod out to somebody. You have to factory reset it to take all your personal information off the HomePod before you gift it out. Or maybe you purchase the HomePod that has already been used before and you don't know what is actually stored on it. You have to factory reset it to make sure it's back to the factory and original settings before you use it with your devices. So. These are reasons why you might consider factory resetting your HomePod. With this one, you're going to need your phone. You need to open your phone, open the Home app on your device, and make sure you're signing in with the Apple ID you used to set the HomePod app. Then, whilst in the Home app, long press the HomePod and scroll down to remove. Here you can actually remove the accessory and when you do that this is going to fully reset your home port so you can easily gift it out without having your details stored on it this is the first method when you come to the second method you can actually do this on your macbook to do this you need to plug in your home port to your macbook or your pc this can be done using the usb type c that came with the home port when you plug this in wait for a few seconds if you're using the map go to the finder window if you're using the pc open the latest version of itunes select your home port when it appears on your computer then click the restore home port this is going to restore your home port to the factory setting this is also really really simple when this is done your computer will prepare to restore the software on your home port mini the HomePod Mini will be done restoring when you no longer see the orange flashing lights at the top. Then you're good to go. Now let's check out the last method that doesn't require a phone or the MacBook. This is my favorite method. With this method, make sure the HomePod is up and running and all you have to do is to unplug it and wait for 10 seconds. You can actually put down a timer on the side and just wait for 10 seconds and then plug it back in. Once you plug it back in, wait for another 10 seconds and touch your finger on the top part of the home port and hold it there. The white spinning light will turn red. Keep your finger down. Then Siri will say your home port is about to reset. HomePod is about to reset. Keep pressing until you hear three beeps. When you hear the three beeps that come after, lift your finger. With this done, your HomePod has been reset to factory settings. So, like I said, for the first method, maybe you want to gift this out to somebody. You can use that one to clear everything from it. Or if you ever purchase a HomePod from somebody you don't know and you like to clear everything from it, you can actually use these methods too. So these are the three different methods used to factory reset your HomePod. Let me know which one is your favorite. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave in the comment section if you have any comments or questions you'd like me to answer. Thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.